The Crocodile Ice Fish That's supposed to say blue frost foxtail. Typo. Good or 2x heavy, 1x long, must add hook. Salt water, gear in size 2. Then put the hook firmly in the jaws of your vise. Load a bobbin with Danville's 210 denier, flat wax nylon, here in white. Start your thread slightly behind the eye and wrap back towards the point of the hook. Once secure, go ahead and cut the tag end thread off. Go to a blue frost foxtail piece. Measure a clump about a quarter inch thick and cut that where it meets the hide of the tail. Then strip out all the under fur. Remember to keep this as we will be using it later. Make a tail extending two hook shanks past the bend of the hook and tie it directly on top of the shank. Once secure, go ahead and cut the excess off. Go to a dubbing twister and select kind of a hook appendage and twist it on. If you don't have this, use a hooked piece of wire or your finger. Loop the thread over the dubbing twister and back onto the hook and secure it with other thread wraps. Twist your thread around the loop to make it tighter and secure. Then go ahead and wrap your thread up towards the eye, do a couple of hatches, half hitches, and if you have a dubbing cradle, go ahead and set your thread in it. Go back to the under fur. I have a lot from tying the foxy clousers, but if you need more, go ahead and just cut it free from the hide. You'll need about four or five inches when it's spread out. Once spread out, go ahead and take the dubbing in clumps and go ahead and start putting the sections in the dubbing twister, but don't spin it yet. Open the thread up, put it in, and push it up towards the hook. Try to put it at the midpoint of the material. Then once all the material is in, go ahead and give the dubbing twister a good spin. If you need to, go to a dubbing brush. Go ahead and pick all the fibers out free from the thread to make it a nice bushy dubbing loop. This is crucial to having it lean back the way you want it when we palmer this dubbing loop up the shank of the hook. Go up to your hook and if you have a rotary function, go ahead and start spinning it to lay the material on the hook shank and push the fibers back as you go. Sometimes this helps to sweep the fibers back already on the dubbing loop, so when it touches the shank, it's already sweeping back the way you want it. Go up to the eye as far as you can without crowding it. Once you can't go anymore, grab your thread and tie off the dubbing loop. Then go ahead and cut the excess off. Make a nice head and do a couple of whip finishes and add some glue if you want. Then cut your thread off. 
Now go to your scissors blade and to really prick out all the fibers, go ahead and dig one of the sides of your scissors in and start pushing out the fibers as if you were picking out dubbing on a scud, but on a much larger scale. Make sure to be only cutting trapped dubbing and not thread. Then push all the fibers back once you think you got all the clumps free. Now go to some fluorescent fly eyes here in one quarter inch and some super glue. With one of the eyes, go ahead and put a dot of super glue on one side and place that slightly behind the thread head on the fur of the fly. And press it down till the glue sets. And do the same to the near side. At the same place, slightly behind the thread head. Once both eyes are set and in place, the fly is finished. That's it, that's the fly. Gonna try it on some snook next summer.